In this part of the training module, I will show an example with which the water productivity is improved. TEF is grown in Ethiopia. And the example is worked out for the Tigra Highlands in the northern part of Ethiopia. Throughout the year, rainfall is low. Only in two months, July and August, the rainfall is very high, twice as much as the crop water requirement. The production of teff takes place in this rainy season. However, the crop is rather late sown at the end of July, beginning of August. And since the teff has a growing cycle of 100 days, the crop experiences water stress at the end of September in October and beginning of November. One of the reasons for late sowing is to control the weeds. Before sowing the teff, farmers let germinate the weeds. Then they come to the field and by plowing they remove the weeds. They prepare the seed bed and then only teff is planted. There are other reasons why farmers so rather late the death. So these days the Ethiopian government is promoting the sowing of death in rows. As such weeding becomes now much more easy and farmers can sow earlier. Field experiments show that with sowing two to three weeks earlier you can increase the yield by 50%. And the actual low yield of 0.8 becomes 1.2 tons per hectare. After calibrating and validated aqua crop fall TEF with the help of the experimental fields, you can run aqua crop for many years to see the yield variations from one year to the other. The ET water productivity increased from 0.3 to 0.4 kilogram per cubic meter of water. Since in July and August the rainfall is very high, United Nations promote the constructions of ponds in which surface runoff can be stored. These ponds are rather large, roughly 15 by 15 meter and on average 2 meter deep, so they can contain half a million liters of water. Now the transpiration in the area is about four and a half millimeters per day, or it means that you lose 45 cubic meter per day per hectare. So the amount of water stored in the reservoirs is insufficient for the irrigation of an extra crop in the dry season, but we can use that water to apply one or two irrigations at the end of the season of death. By applying irrigation at the end of the season, the crop yield raised to 1.8 tons per hectare and the ET water productivity to 0.5. So with early sowing and applying irrigation at the end of the season, the yield can be doubled. However, the new management strategies have still to be communicated to the farmers and also geared to their possibilities because even when the strategies benefits are demonstrated, farmers are not likely to change centuries old practices.